Well, hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. The question today is, should natural bodybuilders train their body parts two, three times a week or more? Should they increase the frequency of the training of their body parts? Should you as a natural bodybuilder do that? Well, I'm a natural bodybuilder. I've been that, that way uh, uh, you know, for my you know, bodybuilding career now. And so as a natural bodybuilder, I can tell you this much, that I have a great interest in recovery from training. I have a great interest in being able to be recovered and make it to the next workout and then go ahead and stimulate the muscle again. As a natural bodybuilder, one of the more important things for me is also longevity. Isaiah, let go of that camera. Is also longevity, okay? You have to be in it for the long haul. You have to go and be able to create muscle, build on it, and do so over a long 10, 12, 15, 20 year period or longer. Because as a natural, you're not gonna make these quick gains. They have to be more of a slow, steady pace like that. Slow and steady wins the race, right? So the answers that I'm gonna throw out at you right now are empirically based upon my own personal training of all of my clients over the last 36 years, as well as my own training of myself. And uh, I've had some success as well. So here it is. Training frequently on body parts. No matter how you can break that down, if you're talking about doing <clears throat> very, very, very low volume of exercises, <coughs> excuse me, if we're talking about doing just a couple of sets per body part, but yet training them intensely, uh, obviously getting an intense workout means that you're going to dig a hole of energy in your subsystem. When you do that, you have to recover. If you go to the gym to train other body parts, those other body parts are going to get hit. And since you cannot detach the first body parts that you train and leave them at home, the fact of the matter is that your entire system is being trained once again. That's your nervous system as well as your muscular system. Therefore, and as well as all the reserve systems on the in interior, your organs, everything, all of those are being used and used frequently. The problem with that is, is energy is energy and there's no way around that. So you'll have a limited amount of energy. Arthur Jones once said that it, it's unwise to use that which is in a limited amount endlessly. So that's my paraphrased version of it. If you have a limited amount of energy, using it endlessly is foolish. It's not gonna work out. So you have a limited amount of recovery ability as a natural. So in recent times we've seen because of, a certain study that's been out there in recent times, I'm aware of only really one. Although across internet land, it's appeared to be gospel now. That in the comment section of my videos, which by the way, down below, you can go ahead at any point in time and hit uh, your comments to this video at the beginning and during the video at any point in time. Love to hear what you have to say on this. But in the comment section of videos all across internet land, there seems to be this big belief now that protein synthesis in naturals just gets initiated and dies off after one day. I'm not aware of multiple studies being done on this, nor am I aware of long-term studies being done on this. Please, down below, go ahead and hit us with the multiple studies or the ones that were done long-term on such things. And even so, that being the case, even if it has been determined that protein synthesis is done after a day or two days, where in does that mean that the muscles will not grow and overcompensate over a longer term with rest? So that's my question to that. So the first answer that I have to this is, no, I don't believe that you should be training body parts two, three, or more times per week as a natural. The rationale of looking at steroid users and saying, well, they could train only once a week. Somehow in the last five or 10 years, that's completely flipped. That script is completely flipped from steroid users can train more often, do more sets, more frequency and all of that. And it's the naturals that need to sit back and rest and recuperate and grow. Somehow because of the one study that's been done, everybody's flipped that around to say it the other way around, that naturals need to train more often. Well, I highly disagree with that. That's not the case in my empirical experience with my clients nor myself. As a natural bodybuilder, I was concerned with having as much muscle mass as possible on stage. 
I was blessed enough to win the Mr. America title. I was blessed enough to win the Natural Mr. Universe title, titles of my dreams. And in doing so, uh, I retained at a later stage in life, meaning I'm the oldest Mr. America of all time at 48 years, five months, and 24 days. At 48 and a half, basically, I beat men half my age in the Mr. America. Obviously, I was doing something right. So these facts along the way I'm sharing with you just so that you can have a little bit more of a belief system in the fact that if you are training each body part once a week, but training them intensely, the fact of the matter is, is that you are doing enough. The fact of the matter is, is that you are smashing those muscles and stimulating them to grow. The fact of the matter is, is just because it's repeated 500,000 times on internet land does not make it true. So yeah, I'm saying it. Please. Bring up the multiple, the, the cliff notes, please, of the multiple studies saying that naturals should train their body parts more often. But no, otherwise I disagree entirely with that. You'd be very wise to go ahead and train on a standard split routine, train each body part once a week, at most training on a Dorian Yates type split, or you can access a lot of the workouts that one of my old mentors, Mike Menser, he had put up, or even go to my books. I have several books up right now, Physique 101, Mr. America Shape Up Series, and Year One in the beginning. I'll put all those links down below for everything I just said. You can feel free to access all of those. In the meanwhile, before you go, off to my left, you're gonna see a disc pop up around my head. That is the subscribe button for my channel. Please give that thing a tap right there, and you'll be notified when new videos pop up. And down below, you're gonna see a thumbs up button right over there. Please give that thing a tap and turn it blue. That lets YouTube know that you're liking my videos and you're ready for some more. That's it for today from my heart to you, John Hart. Look forward to seeing you again.